A feature of the Miltronic Centering Control is the ability to import CAD files directly into a conversational program. In this demonstration, I will show you how easily it is done. To start a program, we're going to choose the F8 program, F2 conversational, F2 new, give it a program number, go ahead and give it a name, we'll program in absolute and in English. To continue on, we will store this event by pressing F1. Next menu we will choose is the F2 mill and then the F8 CAD. We'll choose, start out by choosing the F2 menu to choose which DXF file we want to import. And I'll choose this one, press the F5, enter. The strip function is used to ignore Z dimension values within a CAD file. By default, it is turned on, so it will ignore all of your Z dimensions. If you press the F3, you'll toggle it to being off, which will cause all the Z dimension values to be included. For this example, we will turn it on, and we'll choose the F1 input. What this will do is it will draw out the DXF graphically. Now we need to select the, the cutter path, the direction of path. So we'll choose F1 path. That'll put a crosshairs up on the screen and we'll move to somewhere where we want to start. As you can see in the lower left here it says pick start point. Go ahead and press enter. And now it says pick a point in the direction you want to cut. So we'll just go here. What that will do is it will automatically draw out all of the geometry that you have. Pressing the F12 verify key here will show us what we have. You can see you have half of the Miltronics logo. And looking through the program, here is all of the lines and arcs to make up that. It will automatically insert a start mill cycle and you can go ahead and edit this start mill cycle by pressing the F1 edit key. You can get a different feed rate if you would like. Clearance, final Z depth, we can maybe go less than that. Go in that increment. And turn cutter comp on or off. And go ahead and press the F12 verify key again to verify our progress. Now in order to get the last portion of the logo inserted into the program, we'll go ahead and press the F6 insert, F2 mill, F8 CAD. We'll go to the menu key, insert, grab the DXF again, press the F1 input. Again, it will draw it out. The reason we have to do this twice is because the logo is not connected, so we'll go to F1 path. We'll choose a point on the lower part of the logo. And then our direction which we want to cut. And if we verify it within the program, you will see that it has created all of the geometry of your DXF file. Go back in and edit the start mill cycle
There you have it.